today we're going to be going over a uh, diagnosis for a P1457 code on pretty much any Honda or Acura. Uh, if it's an OBD2 vehicle, um, you're going to have a shut valve here. This guy is typically mounted inside of the charcoal can that uh, captures the, uh, the gas vapors. And a lot of times that code will be thrown not necessarily because this uh, valve isn't working, but because there's an actual leak in the system and uh, that leak needs to be resolved. The easiest way of doing it, replacing this guy, but you can actually take these apart and uh, clean up the, uh, the issues. Being that it's in the engine bay, you may have to deal with uh, some potential rust or, you know, kind of like calcification, I guess you could say. Uh, where you can see whether it's on aluminum parts, uh, you kind of see where it's, you know, builds up and it gets a little nasty. Um, I'll show you how this guy goes together so you can get a better idea of what I did to uh, resolve it. So the main issue where you'd be leaking air from is going to be two points of failure. You have this uh, orange rubber o-ring, yours could be white in some cases on Hondas. Uh, and this guy sits directly in here, right, we'll put that guy in there. Now where it makes a seal against is this cover that actually has the uh, the hose barb on it. So this metal under here, as you can see, you see it looks like it's a little bit uh, like cleaned up, like almost like polished to a, to a point. That was all corroded and it's because water moisture had eventually got it into it. This piece is just plain steel, so eventually it's going to have issues, you know. Um, and what's going to happen here is when this guy kind of goes on top, he's going to seal against that uh, that rubber o-ring there. And if you don't have a good seal, if this metal is starting to scale, it's going to lift up this o-ring, at least the gap between it, and you know allow air to uh, to be released. Your other point of failure on here is going to be this o-ring down below. This one's a pretty universal size. If you have an o-ring kit, you could basically just pull this guy off and uh, you know, slide a new one on, of course, clean the plastic area, which it's going to slide into. Uh, but if your rubber O-ring isn't brittle, uh, you should be able to use this one. You just want to clean that thoroughly because this guy's been inside the charcoal canister. So he's probably pretty nasty at that point. Um, the way you disassemble this is incredibly easy. Uh, if you notice these little legs right here, uh, they're kind of bent inwards. Those little legs match with the little slots down below. So when this guy is flipped over on his back and these little legs are poking through, you basically just take a pair of needle nose pliers, crimp these so that way they're in, because right now they're kind of like a, almost like a V, and that's what keeps them in place within that little slot. And when you crimp them, it allows this whole piece to come out. Uh, once you reassemble it, you're of course going to want to put, uh, most likely a flathead screwdriver would be the easiest thing, and just kind of give it a, you know, almost like a twist. And what that's going to do is that's going to widen these guys up, give them a secure, uh, you know, uh, area to stay in this uh, this valve again. And you should be able to test it out. These valves aren't necessarily cheap uh, to replace. And for this, it really costs nothing. So you could fix that issue for, uh, you know, basically zero dollars, just a little bit of time and a little bit of cleanup. Now, this piece right here is important to explain how it works. You have a spring. You have a little plastic disc, but you also have a rubber uh, little uh, plunger almost. The way this guy goes is he's going to sit inside of here, right? So I'll kind of do this from the side. And we'll pop that in. Now the way that this works is when this guy goes up and down, he's going to change whether this guy is sealed or not. When we press down on this, right now there's a nice secure seal with this rubber and that plastic valve. When the, uh, when the actual uh, shut valve actuates, if it's going to release, it's going to go down. It's going to allow this spring to decompress, and the, uh, the exhaust gases that are in the charcoal can are going to be able to go through here, you know, uh, end up at the shut valve, etc., or the, uh, the purge valve, and uh, be run through the system. Uh, or it will take, in this instance, this is actually your input to the, uh, uh, from the gas tank. So the gas fumes will go to this guy right here. It'll allow it to kind of process and go through here and potentially be reburned in the engine. So uh, if you got any questions, feel free to uh, comment and uh, I'll try to my best to uh, reach back out to you. Thanks.